What is going on guys? I just found my 20 year old Pokemon binder. All right, I mean the condition of this binder isn't too bad. It's got some kind of wear along here, like it's starting to separate. And the front cover doesn't look too bad. It's got scuff marks here and there. And I kind of want to see how old this binder is too. But yeah, it's got, I don't know, like weird residue or something. I can't get that off. But anyway, it's got a stack of pages in there. Can't wait to check this out. Oh, all right. So without further ado, guys, let's dig in. So I've been a huge Pokemon fan ever since the first episode of Pokemon showed on WB11 Kids on Saturday morning. I, just, I was just blown away with the art, the story, the Pokemon, how cool it was, the adventure, all that good stuff. So I don't know. I'm kind of curious. I like this. Like, this is really awesome. Let me know down below in the comments what got you into Pokemon. I really want to know because it's kind of like a whole vast ecosystem of all kinds of stuff. Like, it could be the cards, could be the games, could be whatever. I mean, I'm really interested. For me, it was, I guess, the TV show. And this first page is kind of surprising. I don't know. These three here, I mean, they look, they look kind of fake. I mean, they got this neat little design on it, but they just kind of give off this fakeness to them. And they're not the proper size for, like, a Pokemon card. There, one sec. I'll show you. What we got going on here so it's got like warui kusai hana yeah okay so i mean it's obviously japanese but i mean starting off it's 1996 but it just you know it feels fake it's like one of those i bet it's a sticker but i'm not gonna find out because it's like a 25 year old plus sticker <laughs> if that's the case i feel like i got this at like a pizza hut or something i mean just kind of comparing the sizes of the cards just to show you what i'm kind of seeing i mean we're losing like a quarter of an inch or more on one side of the card just to kind of have as a reference and then we got the dark loom too just to throw that out there because it was it's got Warui in front of it, and it's from the rocket set, apparently. And we also start off with like this other stuff. We got the Tentacool and the Magmar. And then, I don't know, I guess Kid Me liked Pseudo Udo and Ninetales, which I don't blame him. I like Ninetales still to this day. And it is drawn by my absolute favorite illustrator, Ken Sugimori. And we got from the Gym Leader set, Oh, and check out that shine, the holographicness, love it. And apparently this guy's name, instead of Brock, it's Takashi, <laughs> which is kind of surprising. And then here, I don't even know what these are. I mean, they look like the proper size for a Pokemon card, but we got Hoot Hoot, Lugia, Ladyba, and we got a Totodile as well. But I do not know what these are. I mean, these are pretty neat, actually. I don't know, and this is only the first page of the whole book. I mean, they look sweet, but I don't really know. I mean, it's like Nintendo 2000. So I guess it was maybe like a promotion for maybe one of the games coming out. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to move on to the second page of this awesome binder. And oh my goodness, look at this. We're showing, we got like Ponyta, we got a seal. And we got Starmie, we also got Erica's Paris, we got the Gloom, and we got the Bulbasaur from the Gym Leader set. So these are like vintage Japanese cards. This is cool starting off and amazing. I saw this when I first turned the page. We got a base set, Raichu. Wow, Japanese. This is cool. And we got Nidoran, the male one, and then we got Vulpix. Love the artwork on all of these cards. I mean, this is like pure nostalgia for me. Got the Ken Sugimori art. Amazing. Alright, on to this next page here. Oh, we're going into more Japanese cards. So we got we got ourselves Erica's Tangela. We got the Mankey Horsey. And we got some trainer cards too. 
kind of a mixture of the gym leader set and base set as well. Uh, we got Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite. We got a potion. Neat stuff. I mean, I haven't seen anything like first edition, but just seeing that Raichu earlier was so cool. And I kind of see the next page already because this has only got two cards in it, but I got this trainer card here. It looks like some kind of stadium or gym. Jimu. And then we also got a Grimer, Koga's Grimer, so awesome stuff. I like the art on that too, kind of reminiscent, reminiscent of the Ken Sugimori stuff, because that was probably Ken Sugimori and wow. Okay, going into this, we got Alakazam, we got Blastoise, we got Chansey, oh man, Gyarados, wow, yep, I remember this, I loved the Gyarados card. I mean, this was so cool. We got Clefairy, oh man, amazing. And Charizard, I actually remember getting like five of these Charizards growing up. I don't know, I guess I got good grades or something and I'd get like a pack of cards if I did well in school, but, but anyway, I don't know. So we got Hitmonchan, we got Machamp, and first edition, which I think I've heard that's pretty common. I don't know, it's been a, I, I don't know, it's been a while since I've really looked into this stuff, but then we got Magneton. This is crazy. But I really like this. I actually remember this card being maybe one of the I traded for this card. I think I traded a holographic base set Mew 2 for this card here. And I actually traded one of my Charizards for like a promo card, like one of the like the promo Mew way back then. So like when this card you could readily get at the store if you were, you know, lucky enough to get it, which I was fortunate to get one and keep one. So I'm gonna check this card out up close. I almost need like white gloves for this. This is crazy that I'm even doing this. But, oh wow. Yeah. I mean, look at that shine. Love it, oh my goodness. Yeah, unfortunately, it's got a bunch of scuffs on the front of it, but now, no big deal. I love it. Love this set. Going into the next page. All right, we're starting off strong. We got Mewtwo here. We got Nidoking. We got Ninetales. Venusaur. Oh, wow, yeah. I love Venusaur. And we got the Raichu now. So we got the Japanese and the English Raichu. This is sweet. And we got Poliwrath. Got Zapdos, Beedrill, and Dragonair. Now we're getting into the non hollow rares. Not a big deal, but I love that Dragonair card. Beedrill's got the Ken Sugimori art, so if you can't tell, Ken Sugimori is my favorite illustrator. And uh, actually, if you have a favorite illustrator, let me know in the comments down below. We're gonna go on to this next page. And all right, sweet. So we got Doug Trio, Electabuzz, Electrode. Charmeleon, Arcanine, Pidgeotto, Dugong, Dratini, and Farfetch'd. And there's something I see here. Kind of, I noticed this one kind of hiding, but it looks like I kept multiples. Can't believe I kept multiples of these. They must have been like my favorites or something from this set. Because this Farfetch'd only has one. Even to this day, I don't know, Farfetch'd is alright, but I'm not a huge fan of him. And it looks like I like Charmeleon. Got three Charmeleons. Not too shabby. And for some reason I only got one Arcanine. I was thinking if I was keeping my more like cards, I would have had multiples of that one. Cause I thought Arcanine looked pretty cool growing up. On to this next page. All right, so we got ourselves a Magmar. We got Magikarp, Machoke, we got a Jinx here, we got Kadabra, we got Kakuna, we got Ivysaur, Haunter, and Growlithe. And it kind of looks like I kept extras of these as well. So I can kind of see I got extra, oh wait, no, that's, I got two pages stuck together. Um, I kept extra Machoke, it looks like. Jinx, Kadabra. Uh, extra Haunter and extra Growlithe. 
All right, that's not bad. I like that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> On to the next page. We continue into the base set, it looks like. And here we got Nidorino, Poliwhirl, Porygon. Oh man, I love that Wartortle art. This looks so cool. And we got Seal, Raticate, Abra. We got Bulbasaur and Caterpie. Not too shabby. For some reason, it almost looks like I did not like um, Bulbasaur. I only got one Bulbasaur, one Ivysaur, one Venusaur, which I'm sure I only got one Venusaur because that one was tough to get. But these Abras, I guess I really liked Abra growing up. Man, got four Abras and none of them are first edition. So looks like the only first edition card that I have in this set is the Machamp, which is you know, pretty common if, you know, you have the Machamp, which is really awesome that I do. I can't believe I have this many cards from the base set. It's just so cool. All right, now we move on to the next page. And, wow. Yeah, we got Machop here. We got Magnemite. We got Metapod. Coughing. We got Ghastly. Drowsy. We got Charmander, Diglett, and Doduo. So kind of looking at these cards, I got like extras of Magnemite, Machop, Drowsy, Ghastly, um, Diglett for some reason, and Charmander. I'm actually, actually curious how many Charmanders I kept. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if I kept all of them that I got, I, I have no idea. But just kind of looking here, we got one, two, three, four, five Charmanders. Wow. I mean, the condition, too, is not bad. Some of these seem a little more scuffed up. Like, if it was... I'm sure if these were holographic, they would be totally scuffed up. Especially with how I've been treating them. I almost feel like I need white gloves to sort of protect these further. But, yeah. I mean, none of these were first edition, I believe. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to pop these back in to the page. Okay. And on to the next page. So far, I'm not missing any of the base set ones. This is just so amazing. I cannot believe that this is just hiding in my closet for 20 years. So we got one Squirtle, looks like we got Sandshrew, Rattata, Pikachu, Poliwag, Ponyta, Pidgey, Onix, and Nidoran, the male one. And it almost looks like we got a huge stack of, we got Pikachu, curious, curious about these Pikachus. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Can't believe I kept that many. Of course, it had to be all the commons, you know. It'd be awesome if I had like five of all the holographics and stuff. But you know what? This is crazy. This is an amazing, amazing find. I can't believe. Like I said earlier, it's just hiding in my closet. All right, and this next page, we got. It looks like we got Starmie. Starmie here. We got Star U, Tangela, Weedle. Volpix, love the Volpix, love the Volpix art, looks crazy cool. Then we got Voltorb, we got Clefairy Doll, Computer Search, and Devolution, the Evolution Spray. On to the next page. Okay, so it looks like we got Imposter, Professor Oak, Item Finder, Lass, Scoop Up, Pokemon Trader, Pokemon Breeder, Super Energy Remover, Removal, Defender, and Energy Retrieval. So, sweet. Alright. Alright, and then we got more of the trainer cards. And it looks like I kept all the trainers. <laughs> Which, no worries. I mean, that's so awesome. I mean, just for instance, Professor Oak. I had two of them, it looks like. And, boom. Next page, here we go. Alright, so we got more trainers here. We got Bill, Energy Removal, Gust of Wind, 
now we're on to the energies as well we got switch potion and oh my goodness did i keep like every energy ever oh man we got one two three four five six seven eight wow eight energy it's kind of hiding out from the base set that is crazy cool all right next page all right and i see something really awesome here i might save this for a future video so stay tuned subscribe like leave a comment down below which card was your favorite out of this whole binder so far for me i would have to say oh man i'd have to say got to be Charizard for now yeah I'm gonna be cliche and say Charizard's my favorite out of this so far this base set I cannot believe kid me kept base set this good of shape I mean and then I even had like duplicates this is so crazy like wow this is amazing probably the best find I'll ever have <laughs> in my room ever but yeah. All right. So till next time, guys, I'll see you. Let me know down below which one was your favorite that you saw so far.